good evening. I'm trying to record a video kung paano mag... Yung, yung simple procedures on how to do food costing. Um, kasi po, um, I've noticed in some posts and some are messaging me paano. Uh, mahirap po kasi siyang i-explain ng chat. So, i-demonstrate ko. Okay? Uh, this is from Captain Sweet Galley. Si Joylin po ito. Um, right now, I'm at the shop. I'm printing my book, but uh, <laughs> while waiting, I thought of making this video. So, um, this is a simple market list. So, may kita niyo po. So, market list, nandyan yung list of ingredients na binili natin for the recipe. Ito, kunyari, yung presyo ng pagkakabili natin. And then, ito yung quantity ng binili natin. So, yung butter daw is 55 pesos per bar. And then, sa label ng uh, packaging, it says it's 225 grams. So, bakit po naka-indicate yung grams dito? Importante po kasi na metric yung measurement natin. Uh, sorry, ipapasok. <laughs> anyway, uh, papapasokin nila yon tapos order sila, and then Let's proceed. So, we have sugar for 50 pesos, which is 1 kilo. I estimate that a kilo is 4 cups of sugar. Dito, may kita nyo, yung flour is 55 pesos per kilo, pero ang per cup niya is, ah, ang cups niya per kilo is 8. Bakit po? Mas magaang po kasi ang cup ng flour sa cup ng sugar. So, you can test it out if you have a weighing scale. Ang cup ng flour is 125 grams. And then, yung 1 cup ng sugar, brown or wash or white sugar, it's usually around 250 grams. Okay pa? Then, baking powder, uh, nilist ko lang po dito, it's 125 sa isang kilo. So, ito po yung market list natin. Hindi pa ito yung recipe. Hindi pa ito yung food cost. Okay? So, first part pa lang po. So, looking at this column, yung recipe requirements natin. Sa isang batch daw ng recipe na to, ah, by the way, this is um, sugar dough. Ayan. So, 400 grams of butter daw, and then 500 grams white sugar. Tapos, 15 ml ng vanilla extract, 5 grams ng salt, 750 grams ng all-purpose flour, and 15 grams ng baking powder. Okay? So, yan po yung quantities. These are just estimated quantities po. This is not an actual recipe na ginagamit ko. It's just to demonstrate how we compute the food cost. Okay, dogs? So, here, paano natin kukunin yung cost per unit? babalik tayo sa market list natin. So, that's 225 grams yung unit natin na worth 55 pesos daw. So, magkano siya per gram? So, ang gagawin natin is 55 pesos divided by 225. Yun yung per gram value natin. Okay? So, compute ko yon That is... Uh, 55 pesos divided by 225. So, ay, sorry. 55 divided by 225. Equals, ay, bakit <laughs> Wait lang, ha. Palitan ko yung calculator. <clears throat> okay. So, here. That's 55 pesos divided by 225. Yan. So, it's um, 0.24. So, palagay natin 25 centavos siya. Okay? So, that's 0.25. Lagay na natin. Okay? That's the cost per unit. So, itong isa naman, it's 50 pesos divided by 1,000. So, 50 divided by... Ay, 50 divided by 1,000. That's 0.05 cost per unit. 
0 0.05. So, you do the same for everything. Okay? So, compute ko lang. 95 divided by 1,000. So, parang minumove mo lang yung decimal point. Ha? Hindi ko na makita. <laughs> Sorry. 95. And then, 50 pesos, 1 kilo. So, that's going to be 0 0.05. Then, 55 on 1 kilo, that's 0 0.055. And then, 125 daw yung 1 kilo. So, that's going to be 125. Or, ayan. Uh, 12 and a half cents. <laughs> so, you have here the per unit. Okay, aanhin natin to. Yung value na to, yung mamultiply natin dito. Tapos, yun ang ilalagay dito. What? So, 400 times 0 0.25. So, 100. Ah, sorry. 400 grams times 0 0.25 plus 100. So, the cost used is 100. Okay? So, may kita nyo dito yung cost used 100. It's different from the market list which is 55 pesos it just means you bought more than one bar of butter kasi yung isang bar of butter is 225 diba and the recipe called for 400 grams so you do the same with the rest of the ingredients so 500 times 0 0.05 was 25 pesos daw So, 0 0.095 times 15 ml, that's 1.43. Okay? So, 5 grams times 0 0.05, that's 25 cents. And then, 750 grams times 0 0.055, that's... 41 pesos and 25. Sorry, medyo shaky. Kasi, yung isang kamay ko lang pinangahawa ko. So, and then, last one is 15 grams times 0 0.125. And that's 188. Okay. So, ito yun na yung cost used natin. If you will see, yung butter and yung flour ang bulk of the cost. So, you have 100 pesos for the butter and 41 pesos for the flour. Which is natural naman because we're making sugar dough. Okay? So, we're going to add all of this. That's 100 plus 25 plus 1.43 plus 0 0.25 plus 41.25 plus 1.88. So, yung batch na to amounts to 100... Ah, sorry. 169.81. So, if you're going to round that up, that's 170 pesos ang nagastos mo sa batch na to. So, aanhin mo yan ngayon. Ah, okay. How are you going to use that in your pricing? Sa standard recipe, meron tayong serving portion or yield or estimated output count. Okay. So, sa yield, usually, this will be around 1 point. Usually, add mo lang yan eh for the yield. So, that's 1, around 1.8. Okay. So, that's 400 plus 500 plus 15 plus 5 plus 750 plus 15. Yeah, 1.69. 1. Kilos. 1.69 kilos. Yan ang yield. Okay? Yan yung kabuuan ng dough. So, ilang, let's say, ilang cookies ang mabubuo mo sa isang dough na yan. Okay? Doon na yung portion size papasok. So, ang difference ng yield is the total. Yung portion size or number of portions is the count kung ilan ang pinagdi-divide mo. Ilan siya divided. Okay? 
So, let's say, ito nga, yung 1.69 kilos na sugar dough, that's 1,690 grams, ba? Diba? Kung gagawa ka ng cookies na about 40 grams each, so, 1,690 divided by 40 grams na cookies, that's a total of 42.25 So, ibababa na natin 42 cookies to. 42 cookies. Na tag 40 grams. Follow po. Okay, so that's 42 cookies of 40 grams sa isang batch na worth 170. What does that mean? Magkano ang isang cookie ngayon? So, yung 170 mo, i-divide mo siya sa 42. And that's the cost. 170 divided by 42 ang isang cookie na 40 grams is 4.05 pesos okay and this is what we call food cost so food cost pa lang po yan the question is always raised magkano po kaya ang bentahan Meron tayong tinatawag na rule of thumb o yung thirds na ita times mo lang sa 3 ang food cost mo. So in this case, it's 4.05 times 3. Yun ang pricing mo. So 4.05 times 3, 12 pesos and 15 centavos ang isang cookie na 40 grams. Okay? Merong isa pang way of computing the food cost and that is what we call yung food cost percentage. Ito yung usually ginagamit pag maramihan na yung gagawin mo or ang operations mo would include other overheads. But if you're just starting out and especially if you're home-based, I would recommend this one kasi ito po yung pinakamadali. So if you have questions, you can message me. And I'll try to answer as much and as often as I can. So, good night!